Hey guys, Zachary Durvis Trains. So tonight's video, we're gonna take a look back at 2021, AKA the year I ended my three-year hiatus for model trains pretty much. And we're gonna take a look at some of my favorite acquisitions to the collection. Maybe, maybe one piece, maybe two pieces, maybe two, we'll talk about a third. I don't know, we'll work that out. And we will revisit one of the coolest things I've got to do in the model train hobby so far. But before we get into any of that, I would like to take a minute to thank all my subscribers, all the viewers, and Eric Siegel from Eric's Trains for the huge shout out that he gave me that helped me accomplish my goal of getting to a thousand subscribers. So all of you guys that were already subscribed to my channel, subscribed this year, uh, heard about me from a video that Eric did. I thank you for coming and checking me out and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot that I got to a thousand subscribers. Um, I've been trying to get here for a long time. I finally made it and I just, I just want to say thanks to you guys. I appreciate that now that we've made it to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021, which we did and we had a few subscribers left over. We are on to the next goal for 2022. I'm trying to get to 2000 subscribers by the end of 2022. So we have a long ways to go. We have 363 days from this exact moment that I just said this to get a lot of subscribers. So this is going to be a fun ride. I believe we can accomplish this. It helps if I make more videos. So I need to, I need to really prioritize that, but not good at that. So we're going to try and make more videos, try and get more subscribers, try and really grow the channel. Um, I appreciate all you guys that have taken the time to tell me that you like the way that I make videos. You like the style that I do, the, how I keep it real, how I tell it, how I see it. And that's going to be more of that this, this year to come. So thanks to you guys. Just hang in there. We're going to make more videos. We're going to keep doing what we do. All right. Now, before we get into the rest of this, don't mind my raccoon face I have. It was 85 degrees today in Florida and we were on the boat all day fishing. So sorry about your luck if you're in the snow. I can't help you. Now, um, so some of my favorite acquisitions to the channel this year, probably my most favorite that I actually, how do I word this? One of my most favorites I purchased, not from acquiring. So I'm, I'm gonna set aside my buddy's collection that I acquired back in July. Um, those are all those pieces all mean a lot to me, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna we're not gonna talk about those because that's the whole collection I acquired, so we're just gonna leave that alone. But as far as some of the pieces I acquired on my own that were not part of my buddy's collection, um, one right there, it's the Milwaukee Road S3 from Lionel's the first generation, uh, it's cabin number 261. I made a video about it. Um, if you haven't seen it on my channel, go check it out. If you have seen it, well, here, take a look. We're gonna take a look. Here it is. So this is Milwaukee Road, uh, Lionel Legacy 261S3. This is the first gen engine. Um, I've been after one of these engines for a long time. Um, it's always been an engine that you know, I found one that wanted too much money or I didn't have the money or there's always some some reason I didn't acquire one. But I finally acquired one. Um, I got it from CSAM off the OGR forum. Uh, I'm sure if you guys are on the forum, you know exactly who he is. He had it for a great price. And I don't even mind telling you, I paid a thousand dollars for this engine. So if you're paying like $12 and $13 for the ones that are on eBay that just look like they've been at the bottom of a sewer for their whole life, don't, man. Just wait, you'll get a better deal. Um, so yeah, we got this engine, and as you can see, we're pulling UP passenger cars because your boy here doesn't have Milwaukee Road passenger cars yet. So hopefully one of these days we'll acquire those. But as for right now, we're just gonna keep doing what we do with what I got. So. Go ahead and flame me for pulling UP cars with a Milwaukee Road engine. It's okay. Um, next, next item that I was really excited about that I acquired, and I wasn't actually as excited about it when I bought it as I am now that I have it, is going to be here. Take a look. It's the Unshrouded J. This is the MPH Premier Unshrouded Norfolk Western J. Had number 605. I bought this at York. Um, I didn't really want one of these engines because I didn't really care, but I know they're hard to find and I found one for a great deal. Um, and I got an Untrialed J. Uh, so, I don't know. I was really excited about this engine now that I have it. Before, I really didn't care, so it's kind of ridiculous. But now that I have one, I think it's great. I have a third engine that we're not going to talk about in the video right now because it's not here. Um, if you do follow my Instagram page, Joker's Trains, if you scroll through there, you may or may not be able to figure out which engine it is. Um, that engine will be back to me on Wednesday. It's coming through UPS right now. So we will have a video on that engine this week. And I think you guys will be pretty, 
pretty happy, excited, surprised. I don't know, pick one of them words and go with it. Um, I think you'll like it. It's a great engine, super clean, crisp. Now, so those are the three engines. We're gonna keep it at those three engines. And we're not gonna talk about my entire collection that I picked up because there's some great engines in that. We could be here for the next three hours. So, all right, so the one thing that I really got to do this year that I really was super looking forward to since I've known about it was I got to attend York for my first time ever. So I went to the October York and I had a fantastic time. I was completely blown away. Um, and a lot of the people have been there a million times say, so oh, this year wasn't that good. I don't care, man. I went and it was fun. It was fine for me because I never been there. I thought it was awesome. So quit trying to rain on people's parade, man. I ain't been to York. I don't care if you, it ain't what it used to be. It is what it is now. So some people don't know any better. So we liked it. Okay, cool. Um, so I got to do that. Um, I got to meet up with a bunch of my YouTube friends. Um, that I, you know, obviously guys you talk to in the comment sections or guys you talk to in uh, different online groups or whatever. Um, so a lot of those guys, you know, I still talk to most of those guys today, all the time. Um, so that was great. Um, got to go with my dad. Uh, it's just, it just a great time. And I bought three engines, so. That was awesome. Like, if you didn't like your fisher, I don't know, man. It was cool to me, so I had a great time, so. That was my 2021, really. I mean, I think I, don't, I live in I live in Florida, so I don't get to go to all the like, different meetups that some of these people go to all the time. So we don't have very many train shows or anything like that down here that are really like any good. So what? It's, it is what it is. So that was my year. That was my 2021. Um, got a lot of cool stuff. Got a lot of new subscribers. And looking to looking to raise the bar a little bit and. 2022 it's my personal opinion i think we can do it now let's uh let's run some engines around and if you guys made it to the end of this video i want to thank all of you guys for watching me ramble once again hope you enjoy the engines i showed you just some of the pieces i thought stay tuned i have more engines coming in maybe i'll do another video with uh future plans for 2022 maybe we'll do a separate video because i don't think they should be together since 2021 was not that good so maybe we'll just do a 2022 forecast video or something. All right, man. Thanks to all of you guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a minute to subscribe. It's free and super easy and doesn't cost you anything. Uh, like the channel. It helps with the YouTube algorithms. And leave me some comments. Ask me some crazy questions. I don't care. Ask me whatever. Ask me why I look like a raccoon right now. It doesn't matter to me. So at any rate, thanks for watching. Until next time, you guys take it easy.